hey hi guys in this video i will gonna tell you how to configure your angular js project in sublime text editor 3 so first of all you need to download sublime text editor 3 and i already did that so i will just gonna open it okay now the first thing that we need to install is the package controller for sublime okay and to install that package manager all you need is to copy this code of line and you need to open sublime console and you just need to paste it over here and hit enter okay so i am here uh, and just pasted it and now you can see that it is downloading the dependencies for the package controller okay it will gonna take a while great uh, now we are done one missing dependency was just installed cool okay and, uh, now we just need to restart it I'm going to close it and I will gonna just restart it okay great now I will gonna install the angular JS plugin for that I will gonna hit control shift P install packages okay so here we have I just gonna hit enter and now you can see that it is loading repositories but great now angular JS plugin is over here great again it is downloading it now the downloading is done great now the plugin is installed and I will just gonna restart it one more time great now I will gonna import my project over here that I created with the human all I need is to just drag it over here great this is my index file okay uh, just let me maximize this stuff okay great so we already installed the AngularJS plugin the second thing we need to do is to index this project to index this project we need to hit window control and L now you can see that it is indexing the project over here and it will gonna take a while to index all the components directive factories all the things okay great now the indexing is completed now if you again hit the window control and L key it will gonna display you all the modules controllers directives and factories okay now if you want to uh, open your any custom directive you can directly start typing over here like uh, I will gonna open nav bar nav bar okay now I am just redirected to this file great so suppose if I want to include this directive in my file so then what will I gonna do I will just gonna close it and over here if I gonna add that directive I will start typing nav bar you can see that it automatically index that directive for my project and if I gonna hit enter you can see the auto completion stuff and if I want to include the isolate scope variables over here I just need to type isolate and see the date is over here you can just start adding this stuff over here and uh, to open that particular file that particular directive uh, you can just select the directive name and hit window control alt plus l and voila it directly opened that file to me yeah that's great you can file all these kind of uh, short keys uh, by going to this uh, angular js github repository over here and you can find some more configuration options over here so basically you will gonna use these three shortcut keys in your uh, project okay guys 
yeah that's great so we configured our project we installed the angular js plugin in it uh, that's cool now i will gonna show you some more uh, other plugins that may help you for your web development projects so uh, let's start by uh, enhancing your sidebar so currently in sidebar i have this uh, few options so first of all i will gonna enhance my sidebar to do that i will gonna jump back to the package controller uh, by hitting control shift p and selecting install packages and it will gonna list on me the sidebar package sidebar announcement yeah that's the one hit enter now it is just installing that package okay now we are done now if you are gonna right click over there you can see there are like bunch of options you are now getting over here that's cool now the second plugin that i want to show you is the bracket highlighter to install that i will gonna jump back to the package controller bracket highlighter over here and if you hit enter it will start downloading it and now it is installed now you can see that if i gonna click on any particular uh, bracket it will gonna show me the opening and the closing braces for that and if you're gonna jump back to any, any html stuff then you can again gonna find that okay this is the starting body tag and this is the closing body tag so this plugin will also gonna help you on the daily basis as well okay now uh, the next plugin that i wanna share with you is the uh, sublime linter it will basically gonna tell you any syntax error in your code in your javascript code so for that i will gonna install it uh, from the package controller sublime linter okay here we are okay that's great it is installed now uh, for the uh, js point of perspective i will gonna use js hint for any syntax error and for that I need to install it first so I will gonna run npm install JS hint I think I already did that npm install uh, hyphen G for global option and JS hint okay so it is already installed now I need to install JS hint linter for that and I will gonna jump back to the package controller Sublime Linter, where is JS Hint? Okay, here it is. Now it is installing. Okay, great. And now it is installed. And if you, I think I need to restart my text editor. Okay, great. Uh, just wait a while uh, close it and restarting it great done now if you do any syntax error over here you will gonna see these dots uh, that are coming and if you gonna click on these uh, it will gonna show you the uh, correct messages that you need to like do this and that to resolve your syntax error okay so this is the uh, very cool plugin that will gonna help you on the daily basis to uh, correct your syntaxes yeah that's great now let's jump on to the next plugin the next plugin that i want to show you is the js format and let's install it js format it is downloading it okay uh, now downloading is done so let's try it so like suppose if you have javascript code which is not formatted like that and if you want to format it with the quick shortcut then you just need to hit control alt and f 
now you can see that it automatically format your code okay so this is a very helpful plugin for you and it will gonna save you a lot of time also you can see its uh, different configurations options uh, by going to its github repository so now uh, if i gonna again hit all control f then it will again gonna format my stuff for me yeah that's a pretty cool thing and there are some more settings that you can see it over here where yeah js format yeah that is the pretty cool thing so you can find the configuration over here and you can configure it with yourself so the next plugin that i want to show you is the doc blocker and it will gonna help you to add the comments in the different manner with the shortcut keys okay you can explore the different sets of option uh, from the github repository so let's add this one to our sublime text editor Control shift p install package doc block okay now it is installed let's restart the supply great so suppose if i want to enter some commands i just need to hit tab and you can see that it, it is automatically adding this stuff for me and you can start typing this stuff directly over here and if i want to add any comment block i can type it over here and hit control enter you can see that it entered the comment block for me that is pretty cool so you can explore some different set of options from its github repository okay let's uh, move on to the next plugin so the next plugin that i, I gonna install is the gulp uh, and like as i am using the human gulp generator for my project so it will gonna help me a lot okay install package manager okay gulp and it is downloading it okay great now the gulp is installed now all i need to configure it with my current project to do that i will gonna open the user key map user key bind okay great and jump back to the git repository and you can find the key map setting over here run task where is that okay so here it is just copy it over here enter your key combination you can enter any key combination for now i am entering control plus shift plus gulp great my task name is gulp argument is serve great if i save this file hit control shift g now you can see that it is starting the server it will gonna take a while okay now you can see that it automatically open that human project for me angular human project great now how i will gonna close this gulp task to do that i need to open the github repository and here, the, here are the bunch of options gulp kill or gulp exit gulp exit will gonna exit your ed editor too at the same time or, and gulp kill will just gonna kill all the gulp tasks so i'm i want to just gonna kill my gulp tasks for that i will gonna configure this one and here it is To 
kill the gulp task i will gonna use control shift k and gulp kill yep that's it hit save button and control shift k now you can see that uh, it is showing me the prompt that okay all running tasks are killed that's great so today i show you some set of plugins that can increase your productivity and you can find some more interesting plugin in the package controller website and if i go over here it is package controller dot io and if i go to the home button you can find the list of trending plugins and the popular ones and the latest ones too that are added recently so thanks guys watching this video i think it will gonna help your software development process and you can hit like button if you like this video thanks bye